Hi, and in this video, I'm gonna share six, 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 yep, six keys to attracting and dating younger men. Hi there, Matt Schaefer, your empowerment, connection, and relationship coach here. I am a former trial attorney who decided to use his powers for good and has dedicated his life to serving women and creating more fulfilling relationships and connections, both with themselves and with men. I've worked with thousands of women around the world and helped them foster and create deeper empowerment and better relationships in their lives. And I'm super excited for today's video topic, how to attract and date younger men. This is something that comes up a lot with my clients and a lot with my students, and we're going to go deep into it. I'm going to share six ways that you can attract and date younger men in a powerful and fulfilling way. But before we do that, take a second, hit that little subscribe button, and don't forget to click the link in the caption or comments. I've created an awesome training that I know is going to really help you in your relationships. So let's start off by talking about what do I mean by younger men? Clearly, I mean men that are probably younger than than you. So I'm probably talking about men in their 20s and 30s, probably, right? So when you're talking about men in their 20s and 30s, there's a lot of specific nuanced things that you're going to want to do with them that you wouldn't necessarily do with a man in his 40s or 50s or whatever your age might be, right? We have a spectrum of women that do watch this channel. So we're going to go through six keys to attracting, turning on, and dating men who are younger. The first key is be fearless and direct in your communication and connection with these men. Because here's the thing, a lot of younger men have probably already disqualified themselves from a woman who's a little older than them, either because they assume that you're married or they think that maybe you're just not their type. There's a lot of ways that men talk themselves out of approaching women. So if you are a little older than him and you want to create that and foster that connection with him, you want to indicate to him that you are interested. That means lots of eye contact and open body position if you're talking about nonverbal connection and then also smiling right inviting him in be willing to start a conversation be willing to initiate the flirtation it doesn't mean that you're putting yourself in a masculine position if you are direct right you want to sort of let him know that you are interested and just because you're a little older than him it doesn't mean that you're not ready to play and connect with him in a meaningful way the second key to attracting and dating younger men effectively is to be present with them. Younger men are going to be very experiential and very caught up in the moment of whatever is going on in their lives, right? And so it's important for you as an older woman with maybe a little bit more experience to be really clear that you are going to be right there with them in that present moment. That means not projecting into the future and making a bunch of assumptions about them because maybe they're not ready for a full-blown commitment yet or they're going to be looking at you and deciding, you know, and evaluating what kind of relationship they want with you. And if they feel like you're projecting into the future and trying to push them towards a commitment or put them on a timeline or a deadline, they're going to pull back and maybe check out. This is especially true with younger men. So don't project into the future with them and read a lot into the future. And also don't bring in a lot of the past. If a, if a man, especially a younger guy, can tell that you're bringing a lot of your past relationship baggage up with him, especially in the early stages of getting to know him, it's going to scare him off right? Younger guys are very present. They're very experiential. They really want to have fun and really get to know you in the present moment. So be connected, be dialed in with whatever he's saying, and be willing to just be in that moment with him without reading too much into it or looking at it through the lens of your past experiences as much as possible. And the third key to attract and date a younger man is to be playful and spontaneous. I cannot tell you how important this is. All men at one level are little boys, right? But younger men especially, they want to play. They want to have fun. So connect with that little girl within you, right? Let go of everything that you've experienced up until now and be ready to just play with him and go back and forth with him, banter with him, you know? Like tease him, let him tease you and just be present in that moment and have fun in your exchanges with him. If you can do that, you're going to draw him in and you're 
you're going to invite him to want to experience more of you and date you and have fun adventures with you. Adventures are another huge way to build connection and intimacy and relationship with a younger man because younger guys, you know, they see the world through the lens of possibility and they want to experience it in as many different ways as possible. So the more spontaneous and the more open to adventures and sort of random excursions and everything you can be, the more a younger guy is going to want to hang out with you. He's not going to be set in his ways. A younger guy wants to explore and you can, through your openness and playfulness and invitingness, be his exploration partner. Does that sound fun? And if he's being silly, don't demean him. Don't dismiss his silliness. That might come across a little maternal and something you want to avoid as an older woman is coming across as his mom. So if he's being silly, tolerate it, roll with it, go back and forth with him in his silliness and just allow yourself to be in that playful space with him. Another important key to building attraction and dating younger men is to be a master of texting or at least get used to texting <laughs> because younger guys, guys in their 20s and 30s, they do a lot of texting. They don't do as much phone conversation. And I'm not saying you can't invite them and draw them in to phone conversations. I invite you to do that, but also be ready for a lot of texting <laughs> with these younger guys. So you're going to want to get good at managing texting as a tool to get to know a man. Don't make it the primary form of communication, especially in early stage dating. Use texting as a tool to arrange meetups, to flirt with him, but not as a tool of getting to know him. So get ready to text a lot more with a younger guy, but be very intentional about it, or it could become a primary way that you're talking to him, and that can be super exhausting. And you don't wanna do that. You wanna use texting as a tool to set up in-person encounters and to do some flirting and to maintain that burn of attraction. Another key to going deeper with younger men is to really own your sensuality, right? Your flirtation, your touch, your body, really leveraging those assets <laughs> that you have and those senses are going to be super important because touch is a primary love language for almost all men, but especially for younger men who are deeply physical right? The more you can be in your sensual, inviting, soft femininity, the more you're going to excite him, right? Because you could teach him a lot as, a, as, a, as an older woman, and that's very exciting for a lot of younger men. So be in full ownership of your sexuality, of your sensuality, and all the things that come with that and invite him into that space with you. And it's gonna really excite him and it's gonna really light the fire with him to go deep with you in that way. And this last tip is really important. You want to give younger men a platform to practice their masculinity, right? And you do that by being deeply in your feminine. Because I want you to think about this. Younger men are just starting to learn what it means to be a man. A man who's in his 20s, a man who's in his 30s, he's really craving an understanding of what it means to be deeply in his masculine, you know, and he's stepping into that space. And so the more feminine you can be, the more inviting you can be, the more you can throw him the ball and give him opportunities to step up and be a man and plan dates and be the protector and be the hero. The more you do that, the more you're inviting him to rise. And for younger guys, guys who haven't really established their masculine identity yet, that's a huge gift that you're giving them. And that's really going to excite them and make them feel more powerful and more empowered when they're with you, which is going to make them want to hang out with you more. It's going to make them want to get to know you better. It's going to make them want to spend more time with you. So one of the most valuable roles you can play as the older woman in the life of a younger man is to be his inspiration, be his muse, be his example of what it means to be in relationship with a goddess, with a woman who's deeply in her feminine and knows who she is and knows what she wants and is looking to him and asking him in a powerful, sensual, feminine way, can you rise to my level? Can you be the man that I need you to be? That's super hot and super evoking for a lot of men, especially a man who's really seeking that answer. 
what kind of man am I? How can I be the sort of masculine figure that I saw my dad be and that I see these other men out there be? You know, men in that age, they're like in their prince phase, right? And they're striving to become kings. And if they have a queen in their life, a queen can inspire them to go there. So be his queen, be his muse, be his inspiration, and he will be deeply, deeply, deeply connected and deeply appreciative to you. So there you go. Six ways to attract and date younger men. The first one is to be direct and be open with them. Let them know that you are interested. Let them know that you do want to connect with them, that you are not married and you are not too old for them. Age is truly just a number and you want to get to know them. And then be present with them. Don't project into the future and assume that this relationship is going to turn into something more and put them on deadline. And don't bring up the past, right? Don't view them through the lens of your past trauma. Just be in that present moment with them. Be connected and see and experience them for who they are. And then be playful and spontaneous. Be your little girl self. Be in the moment with them playing and sassing them and teasing them and inviting them forward. Let them be sarcastic. Let them be silly. Banter and go back and forth with them. And be spontaneous. Be willing to go on adventures and be their adventure partner. Younger guys are looking for that adventurous freedom and you can be their partner and platform to make it happen. And be prepared to text more with a younger guy, but also recognize that you get to do it intentionally. Don't allow texting to become a continuous way that you're getting to know this younger guy. Rein it in, set the tempo, and use it as a tool. Use it to flirt. Use it to coordinate and set up meetups with him, but don't make it something that you do all the time. And younger guys will probably want to do that, so it'll be up to you to sort of condition and set that tempo with him and own your sensuality with a younger guy. Be your soft, flirtatious, feminine self. Be very touchy with him. Touch is a primary love language, and for younger men who are in that prime uh, physical masculine space, especially with their hormones and all that stuff, the more sensual you are with him, the more excited he's going to be and the more he's going to enjoy it. And lastly, be that platform, be that inviting, evoking force in his life that gets him to step into his masculine. Be the queen that asks of him, are you ready to be a king? Because men in their 20s and 30s, younger men, they are seeking that masculine identity and they're seeking what it means to be a king. They want to know what that is. They want to know what that feels like. And so the more you can throw them the ball and invite them into that masculine space, invite them to plan those dates, invite them to step into their power, invite them to be the driving physical force in the relationship, they're going to be attracted to you if you do that. They're going to be excited by you and they're going to see you as that queen that really inspires them to be a king. And that's what they want. That's what men in their 20s and 30s are really looking to do if they are good heart-centered men who are looking to advance and evolve within their masculinity. So I hope this resonated with you. If it did, take a second, hit that little subscribe button, and don't forget to click the link in the comments or caption. I've created a great training that I know is gonna really help you in your relationships. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time on my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.